Hello, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back to work on our little journal that we started. I think last time we put this in, and it is a removable style. And then we go here, and we have a little pocket with an envelope in it, and there's something inside the envelope. I don't know what right now. Then we added this. And we added this piece with a pocket here. And then we added a pocket here and put in a small little piece. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's paper. It's purple paper. Sorry about that. Um, we added in this little flippy notebook with just some of the scraps we had laying around. And we had a damaged piece of paper. So, of course, in junk journaling we add a little tape or washi tape and it makes it just about like brand new so still a very usable piece of paper okay now we need to think about this piece that's going to go on here and if we want to put another folder piece on it to tie it or if we want to put a tie here and wrap it all the way around or put a tie I don't know I don't know I think we need a back on this and then we'll put a tie around it and tie it right here that's what we'll do so it, before we do that, we have to fix this page. Now I cannot figure out where I put this little piece of paper. I know I had some more of it, but for the life of me, <laughs> I cannot find it. Um, you know, normally I'll put them in my stacks here. Maybe it's here. But you know what? It just is not there. Maybe it's in here somewhere? No. I don't know where it went. I just know it's missing. This pretty color. Maybe I used it all? Do you think I did that? I don't think so. How could I? How could I? How could somebody use it all? It just wouldn't, it just wouldn't happen. I don't know. So anyway, I have been looking and looking and looking for that paper. And I cannot find it anywhere. Just look in these drawers really quick. Nope. Not there either. I don't know. I know. Clean craft room. And first thing I can't find. Wow. It's okay. We have this color. I think we can use it just fine. Or we have washi tape. Or we have something else. But... Here's the problem with this piece, is I have to remove this, but we have this pocket here, and we have the back of this pad, we have this, so we have to make a very thin piece here. In that respect, a washi tape might just do the ticket. This is kind of nice because it's a little different color, but no, I don't think I want it. I really wanted that other paper, but I think we're going to have to use a double dark purple. These are big pieces of paper. I get them from the Mulberry store. I love their shop. Oh my goodness. 
It is a nice, nice shop. I'm going to cut it this way. Like so. Okay, now we get this out of our way, and I'll probably lose it now, too. But what I want to do with this is I want to fold it over like so. I know it just makes it darker with this paper, but I think it'll be okay. And the reason I want to fold it over is just to make it just a little bit stronger. And then it only needs to be so long. Now, can I tear mulberry paper? I don't think so. I don't think it tears very well. I don't think it likes to be torn. I think it likes to be left alone. Yeah, it tears on its own, um, its own place. It doesn't like to be torn in certain areas. So it just kind of does its own thing there, as you can see. Maybe if I had gotten it wet, kind of like a napkin, maybe that would have worked. But I kind of wanted a torn edge on one side or the other. I don't mind a soft edge here because it kind of needs a soft edge right here. Okay, so let's start there. I need to put some glue in here first. I wonder if this is going to show through. What do you think? I bet it does. I bet we don't use it. I bet we just have to use one piece of it. Okay, well, it's not bad. Not too bad. Okay, look at that. There's my pen. Let's put it where it belongs. Okay, so this is going to go from right there down to right here. Now, the good thing about this is we can cover, the, if any of this is super, super um, showy, once it is. Um, Oh, it doesn't need to go up that far, does it? It needs to go right to here. Anyway, we can cover it with a little tiny piece of string or something like that. Nothing says that it has to just be the one layer. But this is between the front and, and the back. And it really just kind of needed to um, make this look a little bit better. Right here. See that? See, I didn't need to tear that. Do you see why? Because I'm going to cover it. Yes, I am. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it with paper. Well, I should have put it over the paper, but that is not what I wanted to do. So we have that. We're going to have to let that dry before we put our paper pad back. So let's have a look at what we have here. We have that and we could put a pocket. We could do a flippy pocket up, down, sideways, over, across, weirdness. We could do whatever we want because it's ours. 
I only have one long one. Let's see. I have to use a new piece of paper. We'll use this one. What do you think of that? Okay, so it's going to go from there to there. Let's start there. How is everybody? I should say, oh, welcome to my channel. So glad you're all here. I forgot. I always forget to say that because I get so used to being here. I am late getting here today. What the heck? We had such a busy weekend. And I'll tell you what I did this morning. My husband had to make a run up to another city where one of our kids lives. Because our kid forgot his wallet and his keys here. Now, my honey, we could have made our son come and just pick it up, but he decided he would go ahead and take it up since our grandson, his, our son's son, is, vis is visiting from the army. So, um, yeah, I'd give him a chance to visit longer, talk more army stuff, you know, and, uh, yeah. Just, just man stuff. It could be woman stuff too. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, it's that sort of day. I, he asked if I wanted to go. I said, no, i got to make a video. Or two. I have to actually make enough to cover the whole week because I will be gone on... Thursday and Friday, I have um, some medical stuff that has to be managed. So, I'll be doing that instead. And since I'll probably be uh, under anesthesia for a, at least a day of it, I will just not be even thinking of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just won't have time. I have to cut that off. I don't like that I didn't quite make this long enough, you guys. I made it wide enough. I didn't quite make it long enough. What do I do? Oh, we'll put lace there and down here, I guess. We'll put a pocket down here. We need a pocket, don't we? Okay, we'll do that. Okay. I need to get a different blade out for my cutter because the one I put in it must have been a used one. I must have just tossed it back in the drawer. Now, why do I do that? I don't know. Why did I do that? That was just goofy. I actually needed it to be a good blade right out of the box. So, okay, going to the top, leaving the bottom with the little showy piece, but, oh, <laughs> before I do that, let's go ahead and Fill it in a little bit. There we go. This is a purple piece of paper. I gotta start making more colorful pieces, man. If you like purple, this is the baby for you, I'll tell you. It is a purple one. We haven't even decorated it yet. Oh my gosh, 
Josephine. She's on this channel. You'll see her name. Um, she made, what was it, seven signature coffee and chocolate journal? Was it seven, Josie? Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> Makes you want to flip through it, doesn't it? Flip, flip. Look, look, look. Everything. She said she hadn't got many decorations in it yet because it's so big. <laughs> it's already big. So, anyway. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I have to cut that a little more. But first, I've got to get this thing out of the way. Rid of that hat. There we go. Get rid of this garbage. So it's out of our way. Take a look. Yeah, that looks nice actually. I like it. Okay. Now, that little piece of paper right there. And then right here. Okay. I can just tuck that in there, actually. Villainous Potion. Sounds like a Halloween color. I'm not really leaving this in there, but it helps for doing the ink. <laughs> It helps. Okay, now I can take it out. All right. Now, the next piece is this pocket. I need a pocket. And we do have this that could come over there. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. We do have this one that's the blue. That is a little better, isn't it? Let's see if we have a little different blue one. A little smaller piece that'll work. Yes, right here. Okay. Come on. Oh, I like that. That one's nice. Okay. All right. Actually, bring this back over again, and we want about a little bit there to make a fold, and a little bit here. So let's go ahead and cut it right here. And we will make a little bit of a score mark right here, and right here, and I don't know, somewhere down in here. A little score mark. I haven't been doing my shoulder exercises, you guys. And, uh, boy. 
It is pretty darn sore. Okay, now that's just a little fold there, so gee, I don't know. And we need one right here. And we need one. I drew my line in there, so I'm just going to go by the line. Give that a little angle cut on both pieces. Like so. And then up here. Just gets rid of the bulk, really. Makes it a little easier to glue down, I think. That's pretty little right there. I don't know. That might be too little. But we'll see. Okay, a little bit of a what you call it in there? And I think I've been using this size, so we'll continue with that. Oh, it's crooked. We'll go a little bit bigger, so we go more that way. Have a great weekend. I sure hope so. I had a very nice weekend. We had the kid, most of our kids over, um, and our grandson, of course, was home from the army, and always makes it nice because all of our boys had been in the military, and uh, my husband and our our one daughter that wasn't here. She was in the army. So we're kind of an army family. So that makes it kind of nice for <laughs> they get to talking and well, they're so funny. You know. Talking about stuff and you know, making the best of things in war and stuff like that. Of course, our grandson, he has not seen war. I hope he never does. Um, I would hate for him to have to go through that. Now, this did not help. Okay, now do you see what I did? I was going to put this pocket down along the bottom eee, to cover that, but now we're just going to purple it up some more, get it a little bit darker. There we go. There. How beautiful is that? Okay, so now we have another pocket. We have that pocket. We have this pocket. Now we need to put something here so that we can... We need a back on it, right? Yeah, because the back can either go from here to the front. Well, I could put a tie here, right back here. And Uh, not right there, but I'd have to put ties on both sides for that to work. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's see. Because you want to be able to. Um, you don't want this all flopping open on you when you're writing in it. You know, when you have this part flipped up, you don't want these things flopped down. So we need a way to tighten this baby up. And 
and I think I think I think oh I don't know what I think I think I put this in too soon but but if we put one right here a tie yes Put a tie here and a tie here. They can tie to the front. We wouldn't need a back page. This could be our back page with a little pocket in it. The problem with that is, is that this could get ripped and we don't really want that. So, if we put this on as our back page, we need a piece that we can fold, like we did the other one to make that pocket. I think that's what we need. Then we can have a tie and a tie. A tie and a tie. Ooh, got stuck on my wheel down there. Okay, so we have that one. I don't want to change the color because we're already in the purple stages. That is the blue. Now we do have blue in there. Um, we don't have that color purple so much. That is blue and yellow. I don't think we have blue and yellow. Well, we have a little yellow. No? Okay. So we do have that color. That is the bluish purple. So, I mean, we could do that one. Where is that one? Is that it? Whoops. I'm running out of papers. Let's see. I think this might be. Those all inside there. Put that over there. Yes. So part of this is going to have a little thing on it here, which means we're going to have to cover that with something. See how these things are problem. Okay. So let's get this cut first so that it is the same um, length this time, the same length. Right up there. And if it sticks off the top a little bit, we'll be sure to um, got some little things down in there. There we go. Let's see. Right there. We can always cut the top off a little bit to make it on there the right way. Oh, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Now, I'm going to need something to tie that with. Let me grab that. And I think we will use the same purple that we used this if there's enough of it 
I might have another one. If not, I think I might have some purple sari silk. Um, I've got to change that blade, you guys. Look at that. Oh, it's just disgusting. Although, you know, it looks nice on a junk journal. So you can't really complain too much about it, but gee manis. You kind of would like it not to have that look. At least not right now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Can't hurt us. We won't let it. We are, are tough as nails around this place. Okay. Half inch score. Maybe. There it is. The big scoreboard. Half of an inch. Mm. Let's give that baby a hold like so. Give it a clip like that. Now, this needs to go from here like this. And I'm thinking that we'll just put make it another pocket. Luigi, just a minute, Luigi's chewing. No, no. No chewing. He has found that I put my um stamps down below on the bottom of that new cabinet and he has discovered them and he likes to chew on plastic so darn it you know that darn cat <laughs> I don't know it's just I I don't know it just seems like it's never ending with pets Let's see. Now this one doesn't need... See how this... This page ended up a little short. So you see here is the actual page out here. And so there's like a sixteenth of an inch there. So I guess what I need to do... If I bring this out the sixteenth of an inch, do you know what's going to happen? This is going to get bendy. So I'm better off to bring it to right here and fold it. Maybe just slightly beyond it that way to the left. And then it won't bend. But if I do it the other way, the paper is only going to bend. And we are not going to like what happens with it. It's going to be frustrating. So let's not get frustrating. Now we're going to fold this one in like this. We're making another pocket. Now, where does that come to? That, my friends, if we fold this back, comes right to here, which means just to the right of this one, we are going to score it so that it will come over to this line, which we will probably cover with washi tape or our mulberry paper. Okay? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll score it just to this side of it. We better cover up our ink. Ink just does not like to be uncovered, does it? It gets very particular. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the one fourth inch, one and one fourth here, and score it just 
at the next notch. Okay. It's not a whole lot, but it's going to fold in like this. And yes, that did leave quite a bit of a space there, but I think that's okay. We're going to put the washi tape in there. That is um, not the washi tape, but this. And we'll go ahead and bring it out to maybe cover this. Maybe. No, I don't think we will. I think we'll use the, a piece of this, because I have one right here, to cover that. Okay. So, before we go any further, let's trim this down right here, because we don't need that whole inch and a half there. Let's just trim it down. And we have, we'll put it on the half inch. We only need about a half of an inch for folding under and over and stuff like that. And we'll give this a little bit of a trim and a trim and a washi tape, a washi paper. Now, if we want to use the light stuff, I do. Oh, maybe that's where I put it, guys. Look. There it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this is going to go right over here. Like so. I love it. I'm so glad it's here. I knew I had some. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. I am thrilled. I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. My glue has been without a pin in it, so it is feeling rather naughty. Oh my gosh. Rachel at Roxy Creations was showing video of their holiday. Oh, I would love to have been with her. Oh my gosh, the fabrics and, you know, that like flea markets is what we call them here in the United States, you know, or swap meets or anyway. Oh my golly. Oh, 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 so many beautiful things. I'm going to go ahead and just cover that for right now. We'll trim it down. But, oh, goodness sake. So many beautiful pieces of antiques and fabrics and oh she even showed um, old glass beads and um, oh so many beautiful things just old things and then she said she went to another one that was just new stuff and you know it wasn't what she was looking for at all but oh that antique one or we call it, might call them antique markets around here or antique flea market. So, yeah, very fun. Need to trim this just like so. And just like so. Okay. Okay, fold that back down. And this is going to go, oh no. Oh, this is going to go right here. Like this. Thought I did it wrong, you guys. Okay, so. Now, this here is going to go on here like so. Right here. like this. 
So our string needs to come out this side, right here. Now what do we do about that? Um, we want it to come out both sides. Can show you a little trick. Or we can do it right on the back. Let's just do it on the back. I know, you'd like to see the little trick. Well, it'll take a lot longer, but what I would do is slice here and slice here, just slightly. I would glue along here and here, and I would make this a top pocket, and then I would put a slit in here for the bottom pocket. Does that make sense? Anyway, then the, the tie would be inside the envelope and only on the outside on the front. That's what I was thinking about doing. But that is a lot more work. So we might as well just do it this way. So I am going to push that down. Why am I? I always feel like my scoreboard is not um, accurately designed because it always seems like it scores wrong. So I might have to look for a different one. So then in here, when this dries, we'll put our hole punch to punch our stuff in. But right now, I'm going to put this right here and glue it down. I'm going to have to check my message here in just a second. Make sure it's not my husband. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. Oh, that's okay. Just like that. Cutting that like that was perfect. It still kind of blends in. And now we just need to add our tie to the back. So, yeah, that's what we need to do. But before I do that, I'm going to have to let it dry so I don't bend any of the pages or anything. So when we come back for the next video on this, I will um, we'll put on the tie. We'll cut our pocket. And we'll need to cut some ephemera and maybe add another piece of lace right up here. Right here. What was it? Oh, piece of mulberry. Mulberry berry. It's a berry berry. Anyway, we'll add um, some more of this kind of thing on there. And then. Oh, we might need a pocket back here on this pocket or writing space on the pocket. What do we put on the other pocket? Nothing. So we either need writing space or a pocket or a big flower. I don't know. We need something. 
it's a little blank okay so it we still need another video on this I'm hoping to get it finished but you know it's not always easy to do the finishing parts because they take so much more I'm going to save that in my bin over there for um, you know I could put a pocket on with one of these let's close that let's close that it really would not work very well would it yeah it wouldn't but it would be kind of cool yeah um, we probably have some other mulberry paper that would work like this yeah that's kind of cool I could put one of those in and then one in here I don't know I think what it needs is a side tuck yep it needs a side tuck okay so we'll make side tucks okay I think I've got a plan now tie side tuck side tuck um, tags um, we've got something big in here so we'll have to put something large in here we need some ephemera over here we need some in here uh, we have this in this secret envelope area Shh, it's a secret and then we have our writing space I love it I do love it yum look at that delicious delicious look at that wonderfully delicious journal I love it so pretty isn't it with all those purples and purple blues and pinks pinks and purples yeah I love it I'm glad we went with this color because it matches the front and I'm I'm really glad for that okay we will come back and um, we will work on this tomorrow because I'd like to get it finished up so I will see you tomorrow I hope I haven't been out of camera all the time um, got to readjust everything here it's still not refined <laughs> you got to do that oh boy all right everybody it's been great being here with you and I hope that you're enjoying this journal it's a fun one uh, I love that it's kind of like a envelope journal or a file folder journal it's got the flips and folds and but there's no envelopes and no file folders and it's just made with pretty papers and these really are not super thick papers either so but they're not super thin either all right I will talk to you all later and I hope that you have a great evening and yeah let's see so we know we're going to have something there all righty I will talk to you all later and I hope that you have a good evening and see you on Tuesday bye <laughs>